So here we are trying to express 0 0.47 bar in the form of P by Q. So here then you can go with our traditional method of you know, three steps. Uh, there's one extra step over here that if you want to add, you can add. If not, it's okay. Either way, you'll get the answer. So we'll start with let x be equal to 0 0.47 bar. But doing this extra step will ease the process. So we are multiplying here with both sides of equation 1 with 10 to the power of 1. Why, why is the power 1 over here and why is that we are doing this? See again, here what is recurring, what is the actual number 0 0.47 bar means 0 0.47777. This you need to understand, it's not 4747. It's just sevens being sevens occurring many times. So we'll explain that why the power one. Again, all of this is not to be written in your exam. Solution. There is one digit between the decimal and the recurring number. Recurring digit. So we're looking at only one number between the decimal and the recurring number. Right. So the next thing is second step is third multiplying both sides. Oh yeah, sorry, I didn't do it. I, mean, I wrote I'll multiply, but I didn't multiply itself. So this will be 10x is equal to 10 into 0 0.47 bar. So multiplying 10 with this, what will happen? 0 0.47 7 dot 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 into 10 will be 4.777 dot 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 dot. So basically this will be 4.7 bar, is it not? And this is 10x itself. So this we will call it as equation 2. Okay, so the next step, the second step is to multiplying both sides of equation 2 with, here to it is 10 to the power of 1 because 7 is the only digit which is recurring. So what will happen? We will get 100x, right? 10 into 10 is 100x and this will be 47.7 bar. Okay, so quite simple. 4.7 bar, if you multiply with 10, it will become 47.7777. That's something but 7 bar, is it not? So, next we have the third step, right? Wherein we are subtracting equation 2 with equation 1. So, 100x minus 10x is equal to 47.7 bar minus 4.7 bar. So, all the 7 bars will cancel and this is 43 and this is 90x is equal to 43. So, 90x being equal to 43, what we have to do in the next step? Divide with 90 because we need x, is it not? So, x is equal to 43 by 90. They co prime numbers. So, this is for the simplification and this is your fraction form of this particular decimal. Right? So, Please remember, this is 0 0.47 bar, that is 0 0.4777 dot dot dot. So if I multiply with 10, it will become 44.777 dot dot dot. If I multiply with 10 again, it will become 47.777. Make sense? This representation is nothing but 4.7 bar. This is 47.7 bar. Make sense? And this is 
your answer. Please enroll to our program at chalkpreceacademy.com wherein we'll be teaching you a lot more tricks for faster simplification calculation, uh, DIY projects, we'll code with Python, we'll work with Arduino Uno, there are a lot more magic tricks and the physics behind it. There are printable materials which will help you recap and understand things better. We'll have live revision and doubt session two months before your term exams. It's very cost effective. There would be no ads or any kind of distractions and we have a dedicated app to help you guys with this.